Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Gelatinous Predator Researchers have just discovered a totally new species of predator lurking in one of the least explored ecosystems in the world. Deep in the Pacific Ocean, in a place called the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument, scientists identified a gelatinous monster, a strange orange organism that dwells 4,600 feet deep. Research scientist Dugal Lindsay called the newly found jellyfish a gelatinous predator. She said that because of the depths in which it lives, a part of the ocean devoid of ample food choices, the creature must be feasting on other large and gelatinous animals. That means the jellyfish could be a cannibal. It might be eating other jellies, much like itself, because of the lack of available food. However, this species is still undescribed. It was only found very recently, so scientists can't be sure what it eats. At nearly 5,000 feet deep, there is no light penetrating the water. This is a realm of total darkness. For that reason, most animals that live down here are bioluminescent. A chemical reaction inside their body creates light, causing them to glow. The newly found jellyfish is no exception. It, too, is bioluminescent. Scientists think the jellyfish uses the tentacles on the top of its bell to snag other bioluminescent creatures and devour them. What makes the new jellyfish so unique is that it appears to have evolved its own special red pigmentation. This special pigmentation blocks bioluminescent light from animals it swallows into its stomach. If it eats something that glows green, the dark red of its pigment will prevent that creature from glowing like a light bulb in its belly. This helps the jellyfish remain invisible to other predators. Number 9. The Gulper Eel Scientists with the Schmidt Ocean Institute encountered an extremely rare gulper eel while surfacing from their latest dive in June 2023. They were using a remote-operated submarine off the coast of Costa Rica when they witnessed the incredibly elusive creature. They were using this sub to investigate octopuses living along the Dorado outcrop. The gulper eel was totally unexpected but very welcome. It was one that had just eaten a rather large meal, so its stomach was engorged from whatever the deep-sea monster had just shoved down its throat. The gulper eel is also known as the pelican eel. It's famous for having a jaw very similar to a pelican's beak, like a giant scoop or a shovel. The creature opens its enormous mouth, allowing it to swallow prey that looks way too big to fit in its stomach. Scientists at the Institute said its stomach was inflated like a balloon with undigested prey when they spotted it. The eel had likely just eaten either a fully grown squid or an entire swarm of shrimp. Beth Orcutt, one of the scientists involved in the discovery, said everyone stopped talking and stared at the monitor in amazement. It was the first time anyone had witnessed the gulper eel in the moments immediately after it finished a meal. Another scientist, Diva Amon, said it was one of the most remarkable events of her scientific career. And now for number eight, but first, it's shout out time. I want to give a big thank you to the stoned chipmunk and Jorge Ramirez for supporting this channel. Thanks, guys! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 8. Steamed Giant Isopod A restaurant in Taipei, Taiwan recently received international attention for something bizarre they put on their menu. They released a ramen dish topped with a deep-sea creature that looks more like something you would expect to see in a sci-fi flick. The creature on the ramen dish is a steamed isopod, more specifically a giant isopod with 14 wriggling legs. The scientific name of the creature is Bathynomus giganteus, but the restaurant described it as a dream ingredient. The dish is called giant isopod with creamy chicken broth ramen. The deep sea crustacean is steamed inside its own shell and then placed in a bowl of ramen, like a lobster. Of course, that's after the stomach contents are removed, but not the creamy glass or juicy meat. People who have had the dish say the isopod's meat tastes sweet, just like lobster or crab. But what in the world is this giant creature being mixed into delicious ramen? It is an oversized version of a pill bug that you see in your garden, only living in the ocean. It's a carnivorous species of marine bug that lives at an astounding depth of over 21,000 feet. Some think it's cute, Others think it's an atrocity. Scientists say the giant isopod begins its life as a parasite, feeding off a larger host. But eventually, it sucks enough blood and flesh from its host that it grows into a scavenger. 
Then it spends the rest of its life feasting on carcasses that it finds on the ocean floor. Would you want to eat a giant steamed isopod? Let me know in the comments. Number 7. Rare Deep Sea Fish Deep in the Indian Ocean, a research vessel operated by Australia's National Science Agency Cicero embarked on a mission to map the area. They wanted to map the entirety of the remote Cocos Islands Marine Park for the first time in history. As they did this, they collected samples from up to three miles beneath the surface. It was a huge journey that lasted 35 days and covered almost 7,000 miles. The team made a lot of amazing discoveries. They found canyons formed from avalanches of sand, they identified new sea mountains, and of course, plenty of bizarre creatures of the deep. The team released images of the scariest things they found in the Indian Ocean. One of the photos was of a blind eel. These things are truly bizarre. They have translucent skin that looks kind of like wet mucus. Their eyes are a dark yellow and their internal organs glow sickly yellow through their skin. They are absolutely disturbing to look at. They also give birth to live young, a process you might not want to see in real life, but maybe. Then there is the image of the congridae eel, which is even uglier to look at. Researchers captured images of a flatfish, the Sloan's viperfish, and the arrowtooth eel. One of the only creatures that some might consider cute is the deep sea batfish. Much like the anglerfish, it has a fishing lure that grows from its head and is used to attract prey. Only the fishing lure grows out of the batfish's nose, not the top of its head. Plus, the batfish doesn't look quite so much like a deep sea terror. But what do you think of all these creatures? Scary or cute? Number 6. The Lancet Fish Gigantic cannibal fish with fangs like vampires were recently washing up on the west coast of the United States. Scientists couldn't quite figure out why. It started in 2021, with people finding lancet fish washed up on beaches in California. The lancet fish is one of the more unusual creatures that lives in the depths of our oceans. It's kind of slimy, it can grow 7 feet long, and it looks prehistoric. Its jaws are full of fangs. It has a fin on its back like the sail of a boat. Its genus name is Alepisaurus, which means scaleless lizard. And that translation is right on the money for what these creatures really look like. They can typically be found roughly one mile beneath the surface. They swim through the twilight zone of the ocean eating crustaceans and octopus. But they also eat each other. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the lancet fish is a notorious cannibal. They have been known for eating one another, but there is something else they do that's also bizarre. Whenever scientists look in their stomachs, they typically find food that hasn't been digested yet. The theory is that the lancet fish eats as much food as it can when the opportunity presents itself. Then they keep the food stored in their stomach until they feel like digesting it later, when in need of energy. Scientists still don't know why so many of these fish were found washed up on the beach. Oregon's Parks and Recreation Department said they were finding lots of them on the shore. Only a few were found alive and promptly placed back in the ocean. There could be something crazy going on beneath the sea, causing lancet fish to flee to the surface, but nobody knows for sure. Number 5. The Ugliest Fish in the Sea In New South Wales, Australia, a fisherman caught what he described as the ugliest fish in the sea. 240 miles from Sydney are some of the greatest fishing grounds for tuna in the world. That was where the fisherman caught what appears to be a species of anglerfish. He thought it might be a blobfish, but it looks a whole lot more like the frightening anglerfish. What species? Well, nobody really knows. That should come as no surprise since there are over 200 species of anglerfish throughout the world. Each one is a little different, each one with its own terrifying traits. What's interesting about a fisherman catching an anglerfish is that the anglerfish is the deep-sea fisherman of the ocean. They use a lure which dangles off their head like a carrot on a string to attract prey directly into their mouths. The anglerfish has what is basically a fishing rod as an appendage growing from the top of their head. The unsuspecting victim swims right up to the fish's open jaws, and then it becomes dinner. Anglerfish aren't particularly big. The largest can grow to around 4 feet in length. The black sea devil is by far one of the most fearsome with toothy jaws that are the things of nightmares. Then there's the less intimidating sea toad, a species of anglerfish that lives at the bottom of the ocean. They come in all different shapes and sizes, 
and are all at least a little bit ugly by human standards. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 4. Mysteries of the Deep At the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, scientists recently documented over 5,500 deep-sea animal species. Researchers say there are thousands more that could remain undiscovered in a zone of complete and total darkness. Stretching between Mexico and Hawaii, there is a massive part of the ocean floor that could soon be licensed for mining operations. The area is called the Clarion-Clipperton Zone and is roughly as wide as the continental United States. Because the zone is home to a variety of very important metals, certain companies are interested in mining it. But scientists are extremely against the idea. Even after finding 5,500 species, that's just a small percentage of what could still be out there. Scientists say up to 90% of the animals living in this stretch of sheer blackness may still be undiscovered. Researchers led by the Natural History Museum in London were the ones behind the recent search for biodiversity. They were hoping to document the natural importance of the zone before miners are allowed to tear it apart. They concluded that a total of 5,578 species have been found over the past few decades. 5,142 of them haven't even been named yet. That is how hugely rich in life the bottom of the ocean is, even if it is cold and dark. What kind of creatures did scientists find? Mostly things like sea cucumbers, sea lilies, and sea anemones. But there are countless variations and plenty of other weird creatures like alien-looking sea stars. Scientists say the noise pollution alone could cause irreversible damage to the bottom of the sea. What are your thoughts on the matter? Should the bottom of the Pacific Ocean be mined? Let me know in the comments and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Number 3. The Bloody Belly Comb Jelly the Bloody Belly Comb Jelly is one of the most visually stunning jellyfish in the world. According to the Monterey Bay Aquarium, its official name is Lampoctes cruentiventer or something like that. They have been spotted everywhere from about 300 to 3,000 meters deep. The majority of observations occur closer to the surface, at 488 meters. They live all throughout the Pacific Ocean and in the Atlantic as well. They are some of the most common jellies out there but give off a deep red glow that makes them look otherworldly. They look like creatures you would expect to find gently floating through the dark expanse of space. The jellyfish is called the bloody belly because the reddish tint of its body looks like translucent blood. You might think that being bright red is a survival disadvantage, but red is not an easy color to see in the ocean. Red is the very first wavelength of light that becomes absorbed in the darkness of the deep sea. Although the creature looks bright in pictures, it's essentially invisible to all the other organisms down there with it. Number 2. The Ogre Fish The ogre fish is exactly as ferociously frightening as it sounds. Some call it the fangtooth fish, but ogre fish has a much nicer mythological ring to it. This creature lives in the deep waters of the world's oceans, anywhere from 200 to 2,000 meters deep on average. However, some scientists have spotted it at a mind-boggling 4,877 meters deep. It is one of the deepest living fish in the world. By day, the ogre fish hides mostly in deep water. It surfaces when the sun goes down to hunt for food. Professor Tracy Sutton called the ogre fish a child of the earth, saying that it lives in every sea except the polar ones. Even though the fish is so abundant, it's rarely seen by humans. In the 30 years of expeditions being conducted by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, they've only witnessed the ogre fish less than 10 times. Still, scientists say it's abundant, but sly enough to avoid interactions with humans. The ogre fish earned its name because it looks kind of like a fishy ogre. It has massive fangs and grows to be roughly 7 inches long. The thing that makes it look so much like a troll or an ogre is its gigantic head and rough reddish skin. It's also a true barbarian when it comes to hunting. The ogre fish grabs hold of its victim with its pointed teeth and uses the power of its enormous head to make sure they never get away. Number 1. The Squidworm The squidworm is exactly what it sounds like, a remarkable hybrid of a squid and a worm. It was discovered in a biodiverse area of the ocean between Indonesia and the Philippines. Researchers with the census of marine zooplankton found the ungainly thing in 2007 about 2.8 kilometers underneath the surface. It was named squidworm because of its 10 tentacles which dangle off of its head. 
Each tentacle is longer than its entire body, which itself looks like the body of a worm or some kind of sea centipede. Taken as a whole, it is quite the unsettling little organism. But it isn't very dangerous or alarming. The squid worm uses its tentacles to collect tiny particles of food that sift through the water. Scientists call these particles marine snow, little flecks of detritus that can be found wherever there's water. It's also important to note that the squid worm is not in fact part squid, but 100% worm. It belongs to the same family as earthworms and leeches. It's also about 4 inches long, just big enough to be scary if you saw one in the real world. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite deep sea creature? Which one do you think is the scariest? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!